Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Tuesday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. I wanted to continue my uh, 80s series. Ten great albums. This time, 1984. Uh, hard to choose ten albums from this. Not that there's not t more than ten albums. Just hard to, to pick. Um, because there's so many great albums in the 80s that still rock out, that still perform. Um, when you think of the 80s, you think a lot of uh, um, the disco and then and the, and the pop and um, but uh, and the new wave stuff, which is, I like new wave, but um, there's some great rockin' albums still released in 84. So um, before I get started though, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. It's because you guys, your likes, your subscriptions, your wonderful, wonderful comments that keep me going, keep me motivated to do this kind of thing, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, please like and subscribe below. So, uh, as you know, I always uh, love to show Canadian music, and this guy is an international star, more than uh, just a Canadian star. Uh, this is Reckless, Brian Adams, huge chart topper album of uh, October 29th, 1984. It's on beautiful red vinyl, but uh, yeah, what a great, great album this one is. Uh, fourth album by um, Brian Adams, his most commercially successful album, over 12 million albums sold worldwide. Number one of the billboards, 200. Um, just amazing, amazing stuff. Six singles off this one. Six. Most albums, one or two. This one had six. Uh, Run to You, Somebody, Heaven, Summer of 69, One Night Love Affair, and It's Only Love. I mean, how many songs are on this to begin with? One, two, three, four, five. So there's ten songs, and six out of the ten are... Are singles just a remarkable? Um, all six singles made the top 15 and the top uh, US top 100. 49th of the greatest heavy metal albums of all time. It's not a heavy metal album, I'm not sure why it's on that chart. Pet Hey, it hit number 49 of the heavy uh, greatest heavy metal albums of all time. The uh, 99th greatest rock album of all time by Classic Rock Magazine. Cool. And the 12th greatest Canadian album of all time. So, again, no slouch. Uh, Lou Graham did some backing vocals on this one from Foreigner. And, of course, Tina Turcher. Tina Turcher. Tina Turner <laughs> shared lead vocals on It's Only Love. Uh, big, big hit for, for Adams and Tina Turner. Um, which, it was also nominated for a Grammy for the Best Rock Performance by a Duo Group in 1986. And it won an MTV Video Award for Best Stage Performance. Just an overall excellent album. Great pop rock. Uh, it's got some rocking tunes for sure. And again, a real chart topper of an album. Awesome stuff. Um, next, great, great band. Um, kind of known as a one-hit wonder, unfortunately. Um, but uh, because of their only number one hit, or the biggest hit, but um, this is Autograph. This is Sign In, Please. Really, really good rock album. It's on the RCA label. Autograph, uh, great heavy metal band, actually. Hard rock, heavy metal, glam rock. Uh, from uh, Pasadena, California. Biggest hit, Turn Up the Radio, um, was their only chart-topping hit, which... Uh, Turned them into a one-hit wonder. Um, but uh, this is their debut album, Sign In Please, um, with the big hit on it. October 9th, 1984. Um, Send Her To Me starts off the album. Great rock song. Great, great rock song. Uh, of course, the big hit, Turn Up The Radio. Big arena-style song. Then you got the synth-driving uh, rocker. Uh, 19 and, and uh, non-stop in your face rockers. Uh, my girlfriend's boyfriend isn't me. 
cool track as well. Uh, another heavy rocker, Thrill of Love. And I love the riffs on um, the song Friday. And that ends with a great track, uh, um, All I'm Gonna Take. Really, really good song. Um, it's really, it's to me, it's a hidden gem of an album. It really is. Autograph. Uh, and sign in, please. Just straight ahead rock. Good stuff. Um, what can you say about this next album? Um, my favorite band. One of my favorite albums from the band. There's so many albums, but this is a, a real gem of an album. This is uh, Perfect Strangers, Deep Purple. Um, comeback album from the band. Um, an 11th studio album and the return of the Mark II version of the band. Um, and uh, one of their most successful albums as well, other than uh, Machine Head. Uh, October 29, 1984. Uh, the first Deep Purple album in nine years um, since uh, Who Do you, Who Do We Think We Are, um, which was no such of an album. It was maybe not their best album, but it was, I still enjoyed that album. Um, and the first Mark II version in 11 years. Uh, Richie Blackmore and Roger Glover came back from Rainbow, which I love. Ian Gillen came back from Black Sabbath. He appeared on one of their albums, Black Sabbath. Um, John Lord, the keyboardist, uh, was with White Snake, came back for this album. And Ian Pace, uh, the drummer, uh, was with the Gary Moore uh, backing band. Um, the comeback tour was so successful. Uh, the only act that uh, they didn't beat out was Bruce Springsteen, which is understandable. But um, knocking on my back door, Perfect Strangers, big singles off of this one. Um, it wouldn't be too long after this that Richie Blackmore and Ian Gillen just couldn't get along again. So it was a short-lived reunion, um, but um, still a fantastic, fantastic album, Perfect Strangers. Um, so good. Right off the track, uh, right off the bat, sorry, um, and it's from start to finish, great album. Great, great album. Unfortunately, short-lived. Um, perhaps an unknown band to a lot of people, um, but a great rock and album. It really, really is. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't heard of this one, go check it out. This is Santos, and um, this is uh, Guitar Alley. Great hard rock trio from Toronto. Um, produced by none other than Rick Emmett from Triumph. Um, it, uh, it's a really, really good album. Um, Rick Santos, uh, lead vocals, guitars, keyboards. Uh, Mark Santos on drums and vocals. And bassist uh, Rick uh, Lazaroff make up the band. Um, guitar driven. Hard rock, um, great, great vocals by uh, Rick Santos, an amazing guitarist as well, very under, underrated guitarist. Um, openings with the heavy um, Can't Shake uh, Can't Shake You, uh, great riffs and vocals on that one. Uh, Hotline, another great track, uh, rock and track High Risk. Um, they do a really good version of uh, All Right Now by Bad Company, really cool version of that song. Uh, love the open, love the opening riffs of uh, of Baby Blue, and then it was a dreamy slow ballad type uh, track, and great lead work on um, on um, sorry I never got I never on uh, Dreamin', sorry Dreamin', yeah. Um, overall fantastic album. Uh, so you got Can't Shake You, Hotline, High Risk, Hate to Love You. Too Young to Die, Black uh, um, LOA, Black Magic, All Right Now, Baby Blue and Dreamin'. And uh, yeah, very guitar driven, uh, great leads, great vocals, pardon me. Uh, just a fantastic uh, hard rockin' album from um, June 1984.
Again, the 80s rocked. The 80s rocked. Uh, this is a cool track. I'm sure a lot of people know of this one. Um, but some people don't, perhaps. This is a box of frogs. Um, if the no, if you know the Yardbirds, uh, then you'll be familiar with some of the players on this album. It's on the Epic label. Uh, so English rock band formed in '83 um, includes former um, Yardbird members. Um, this one was released in 1984, uh, called Box of Frogs. So you got Chris Dreja on guitars, uh, Paul Samuel Smith on bass and synthesizer, and Jim McCarty on drums, all members of the Yardbirds or former members of the Yardbirds. Then you have John Fiddler on lead guitars and vocals. Uh, what a great vocalist he is, man. Uh, also have uh, appearances by Jeff Beck, former member of the Yardbirds, and uh, Roy Gallagher is on here as well. I just love this album. It's really, really good. Um, and uh, cool track, back, back where I started. Bluesy, bluesy number on that one. Um, then you got the rock and harder. Another Waste of Day, Love Inside You. Cool tracks, The Edge. Uh, love the guitar work and the vocals on Into the Dark. And it ends with a rock and a poor boy. Uh, just a, a wonderful, wonderful album. I haven't listened to this one in a while, but... I'm going to throw this one back on again and listen to this one. This is a good, good album. Box of Frogs. Box of Frogs. Um, next, the classic hard rock band that's been around since 1966. Uh, these guys are just gems. you got glam rock, hard rock, heavy metal, straight ahead, in your face, the screaming vocals of the, of the lead singer. This is Slade, um, Keep Your Hands Off My Power Supply. Um, it's on the um, beautiful CBS label. This is a great album. Just a great, great album. Um, it, they've influenced so many bands. They've influenced um, like the Smashing Pumpkins and the Runaways and Def Leppard and the Replacements and Cheap Trick and Twisted Sister or Kiss and... and uh, Quiet Riot. I mean, these guys have influenced so many people. Uh, released in 1984, Keep Your Hands Off My Power Supply. It's the North American version of the band. Um, um, Kamikaze Syndrome, uh, sorry, the Amazing Kamikaze Syndrome um, was the UK version and the 11th album by the band. Uh, it's got the big hit, uh, Run Run Away and uh, My Oh My. Two big singles off of this one. Um, starts off with a great single, Run, Run Away. Just a classic Slade track. Um, and, uh, again, My Oh My. Um, then the, uh, kind of a ballad type of track. And then, uh, Love the Rocker, High and Dry. Um, then you got the cool Sex in the Doghouse. And then, uh, Love the Vibe and the vocals of, uh, Naughty Holder. What a great vocalist he is. Front man. And then it ends with a uh, Ready to Explode. Just a straight ahead uh, rocking tune. Just watch a fantastic, fantastic album. Keep Your Hands Off My Power Supply, Slade. I love that cover as well. Uh, the UK cover is completely different, obviously. But a great, great album. Great album. Um, another great band. A fun band to listen to. This is... Uh, Contagious by the Greg Kin Band. Uh, it's on the Burke, uh, uh, Berserkly label, sorry. I always call it the Berkeley label, but it's a Berserkly label. Um, yeah, what can you say about the Greg Kin Band? Fantastic stuff. 1984, Contagious. Um, love the opening track, Reunited. Um, opening drums and lead work. Um, on rock, just a great rhythm on that one. Um, made up kind, kind of a uh, sorry. Made up is kind of a Billy Joel type of track with that uh, you know, that snap and finger tune that he that he always sings. Um, still rock and roll to me. That's what I kind of think about when I heard uh, make up. Um, 
love the bass runs on that one as well. The great reggae style of, uh, of confrontation music. Um, and then uh, you've got the synth-driven uh, Worst That It Could Happen. Cool track as well. And then it, was, it ends with the rocker, Work, Work, Work. Uh, just from start to finish, wonderful, wonderful album. Contagious, as I've got it upside or sideways here. Contagious by the Great Kin Band. Awesome stuff. Uh, next, um, some people may be familiar with these guys. Uh, some people not. The Water Boys. This is a pagan place. This is a fantastic album. Um, it's on the Island record label. Kind of a Scottish folk rock rock band. Um, formed in 83. This is their... Uh, Second album, Pagan Place, June 1984. Mike Scott, uh, fantastic vocals, uh, guitar player, 12-string electric, uh, piano and bass. Um, also the great trumpets in, in the song as well. Um, great trumpets uh, in the song, Church Not Made With Hands. Uh, uh, fantastic, fantastic track. I can imagine seeing these guys live. Uh, I mean, their songs are so powerful. Um, they're unique, and, and it would be just an amazing performance. Um, love All the Things She Gave Me, Haunting and Powerful. Uh, really, really good track. Uh, the Wonderful Violins and The Thrill is Gone. Um, it's not the blues, B.B. Um, King type of blue, uh, The Thrill is Gone. It's a completely different song, but still, still good. Um, the Big Music is great. The title track, A Pagan Place, uh, another fantastic, um, their, their music's hard to describe. It, it, they're, they don't, they're not rock, uh, they're just storytellers, their, their music's so good. Um, and then you hear big vocals, but then you hear this piano in the background. It's just a wonderful, wonderful album, The Water Boys. Really, really good stuff. If you don't know these guys, definitely check them out. Definitely check them out. So we go to uh, Scottish uh, folk rock, amazing music, to just straight ahead blues. And I love, love this album. Uh, Johnny Winter, guitar slinger. Love this cover as well. Just a cool dude. Just a doesn't give a crap dude. It's on the Alligator label, the Green Alligator label. Love that label as well. This is a fantastic album. Um, no originals on this album. All covers. But what covers? Man. Slide guitar. Amazing vocals. That gritty vocals of Johnny Winter. Um, growling in some of the songs. Um, 1984 release. The first on Alligator Records. Uh, again, the amazing slide work on the opening track and the growling vocals of It's My Life, Baby. Um, Love Don't Take Advantage of Me. Great runs on that one as well. Then you got the harmonicas and the blue guitar combo of um, Iodine and My Coffee. Cool track. Uh, and then you got the slow blistering lead work on I Smell Trouble with the bluesy piano in the background and Johnny's classic vocals. And um, what a great blues track that one is. Uh, rock and roll track lights out. Uh, love uh, nothing but the um, nothing but the devil. One of my favorite tracks off of this one. Twelve bar blues at their best, and then it ends with uh, uh, a more amazing slide work on my soul. Um, he was a master at his craft, and uh, sorely missed for sure in the blues genre. But amazing album. If you don't know this album, definitely check it out. Mr. Johnny Winter, guitar slinger. And finally, um, when I saw this album uh, at first, it was part of a, a pack, a, a box of albums that I got. Uh, I kind of looked at it, kind of chuckled and set it aside. And then it wasn't until um, a few months ago that I picked it up again, listened to it, blown away by it. And, um, yeah, it's fantastic, fantastic. This is Wow 
Wendy O. Williams. Uh, it's on the Passport Records label. Um, <laughs> fantastic album. Really, really hard rock. It's not, <clears throat> of course, you think of, of Wendy O. Williams from the Plasmatics, punk, um, strong, strong punk. This is straight ahead rock. And I'll explain why in just a second. So it's a debut album um, by the classic and bizarre uh, Wendy O. Williams. Uh, she was a porn star. She was, you name it, uh, arrested so many times for, for indecent exposure on stage, the, the whole bit. Uh, June 1984 release, produced by Gene Simmons. So there's the hard rock element to it. So after the Plasmatics toured with Kiss, um, their contract wasn't renewed. And um, Wendy Williams still wanted to perform, but she couldn't perform under the Plasmatics name. So uh, Gene Simmons approached her uh, about uh, producing an album, um, but they couldn't use, again, the name Plasmatics. Um, so they... Uh, used uh, the Plasmatics uh, West Beach on rhythm guitar and uh, T.C. Tolliver on lead guitar. Uh, Gene Simmons plays bass under the uh, stage name of Reginald Van Helsing, the Vampire Slayer. Uh, Ace Freely plays, uh, plays on this one. Vince Vincent plays on this one. Paul Stanley plays on it and Eric Carr plays on it. So uh, really, it's a Kiss album. Uh, with Wendy Williams as a lead singer, in my opinion. That's what it sounds like to me. But uh, she was nominated for Best Female Rock Performance in 1985 for this album. And it's a good, good album. It really, really is. Um, again, a great straight-ahead hard rock rock album. Um, but uh, again, with members of KISS involved, um, making it what it is. I think it without them playing, it probably wouldn't be as good an album as it is. But fantastic album in WoW. So there you have it, guys. There's 10 great albums from 1984. Um, really, really good stuff. Uh, check out these bands here. They're just amazing. These albums are so good. And uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Love you all. Take care.